So you can't be an actor, a writer, a director, or a producer. What job are you doing on a film set? I cannot be an actor, a director, a writer, or, or a, producer. a producer. What job are you doing on a film set? That's a let's, good let's, question. Let's say you actually had the talent to do any of them. Okay, thanks. Yeah, because yeah. all of these other things, yeah. I don't know that I would have. Let's we'll just the next okay. one after those that you'd be in. I got one. I got one that's immediately at the top, mm. and I'm going to say it because the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences don't consider them actors. Stuntman. Oh, stunt performers. Yeah, without question. I would. I actually would I, like the whole idea of being a stunt person. If I didn't love acting as much as I did, just the purity of the art form and doing theater so much and stuff, then I, I, that would, without question, stunt, man. How about you? Production design? Yeah. I didn't think about stunts, obviously, but um, actually, I consider them still actors. So I do, too. Uh, so let me put that one aside. Probably production design. Yeah. Because they're just so cool. I, I would, if I'm putting that one aside. Location scouting? I would love to do that. Yeah, now. <laughs> I would love I, to location scout. I would probably... Do, um, I would probably want to do cinematography. Yeah, because so DPing. Yeah. yeah, I would want to be as hands on, on the day, part of the process, observing the actors, talking to the director, and just being right in the meat of the artistry in yeah. its immediacy. Cinematography. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Josh. Hey, welcome back to our stupid director, Corbett. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy Minions. content. Thank you. This is a new Minions. Minions. Like Minions. Uh, what? There's a new Minions film coming out, and I think that's probably going to pay Steve Carell $80 billion. You know how much money he's probably made off of that franchise? $80 billion? He's got, to, he's got to have made like $100 million off that franchise. So they, uh, Kulki dropped a trailer, but it's the a animated Baji and, say his name. Bairava. Is that Provis's character? I think that's Provis's character. Okay. We know who Buji is. And this is the t trailer okay. for this, but it's an animated one. <laughs> I'm so confused. I knew we were going to get stuff every week till this drops. And I saw in an article, Provis specifically said what we expect is that this is marketed internationally. Oh, this yeah, is meant sure. to be an international Hopefully film. Hopefully it's IMAX. Yeah. If uh, it's not an IMAX, then somebody really screwed the pooch. They were like, we want to do a animation film as well animation trailer is there an animated portion of the film probably not okay they're just spending well so let's much, just let's see they're just spending so much money man let's see what this is about BUGZ1 ready to take off I don't understand <laughs> nice sledding <laughs> complex. I think do grading. Oh, is it like something that's releasing on Amazon? Okay, this has nothing, this is not the film. No. It's an animated series on Amazon Prime. What, is it just like offshoot? Um, like, um, yeah, it's, it said it's part of the universe. So it's like other stories of them, the him and his car thingy. That's, it's that's odd to me. Interesting. It's odd to me that you would do this before you drop the film. I mean, I understand advertising it before the film drops and carrying on the, the wave of the, the momentum of the film. It's odd that you would drop this first. Why? You can get to know the characters a little better. 
And it's just an animated, so it's probably for for kids. And yeah, it's probably more for kids. It's just it's odd to me. Yeah, to to do this it's, simultaneous and actually let it go before the film. It, it's just it, odd to me. The Kalki team is very interesting with what they've been doing with this, bringing the first Indian film ever to Comic Con. Now they're. They're, obviously, it's a massive, massive film that costs. Them, I'm sure the, the reason they're doing this is because it costs them more than an arm and a leg uh, to make this film. Um, it's interesting I, uh, uh, that they're actually like doing like because they do this with Marvel films all the time. There's like if you go on Disney Plus, mm -hmm. there's tons of little shorts and animated shows. Yeah, offshoots of the big flagship. Uh, yeah, that doesn't surprise. Movies. Of course. There's tons of that. There's tons of that with Star Wars. Yeah, but there's not in Indian cinema. So it's it's super right. interesting they're taking that concept and seeing if it'll work, whether it will, I don't know. Um, with this film, um, I hope it works out for them. Yeah. <laughs> in terms of uh, one, just the film, hopefully it being very good, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Um, but obviously now they're just doing some offshoot on my twin's birthday. Yeah. Very nice of them. Yeah. To drop it on my... Maybe uh, do a watch along with Leo. <laughs> Not a bad idea. He may love it. He maybe. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's like intense at all. Obviously, we need to make sure it's yeah. he's still only four. Yeah. Um, that's super interesting, though. Because I know a lot of Indians aren't like the way they view animation is that it's just for kids. Right. Unless it's anime. Yeah. But they, even then, because um, like that's why like. You know, Pixar films here, that's a whole family affair. Adults love going because there's right. stuff for kids in it. Right. Uh, and there's and stuff for adults. Stuff for adults. And yeah. it's usually well, well done. So you're yeah. just watching a nice animation film. Yeah. Animation, obviously, especially for 90s kids, that was part, that's literally our childhood. It's just <laughs> animation. Animation. The, the, and mine. The, the golden age of animation is the 90s. I passionately disagree you had these old movies which classics sure but then the influx that we had not only movies shows everything 90s cartoon network and nickelodeon mm -hmm. that is peak that is peak peak for output peak for quality i i disagree you were an adult <laughs> so you didn't watch them i also have kids that were of that age i i i just disagree now you got really that's when you started doing it. Okay. 90s is by far the best decade for animation ever. Okay. Movies and television. I, again, I disagree, but that's... It, There's more to animation than Looney Tunes, Rick. I, I didn't say Looney Tunes was, was the all last, there was in animation. What was the last Looney Tunes movie? They, I don't know. They used to do it all the time. Like there, there was like a time where Space Jam came out, but then like didn't Brendan Fraser have like a? Uh, well, he did George of the Jungle. No, no, no. He did. Um, he did something with. There Looney haven't Tunes. been a lot of Looney Tunes motion pictures, in and the they've typically not done well. Yeah, no. In the early two thousands, yeah. they did them. No. Yeah. Um, there's one in Brendan Fraser. I didn't see that, but then Space Jam, most famous one, the best one. Do you have a, well, is is Scooby Doo your favorite cartoon character? Yeah, the classic Scooby Doo is my favorite cartoon. I love that show. Yeah, uh, I don't know if he's my favorite character. Shag Who? Shaggy would be more. Oh, on, in that show, yeah, it's Shaggy. I yeah, it's because you could play Shaggy. I love Shaggy. Yeah, I don't know if it's my favorite because there's so many. My favorite Disney movie animation is um, Emperor's New Groove. Yeah, that's a, I, I, I I love Emperor's New Groove. Uh, but when I was growing up, SpongeBob classic now it is um i think yeah. i think everybody knew it in the day too that, that, that spongebob was gonna be a classic yeah my my, well, my wife was never into spongebob and she was mad at it because it 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 took off angry beavers from the from the air which is a 90s classic. oh classic yeah i know show, of i know of angry which i beavers. used to watch as well but it came on in 1999 yeah. but when yeah. spongebob came out angry beavers got canceled yeah, uh, and so she always held a grudge against SpongeBob for that. Yeah, I, 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 I get it. I'm super interested. Because Ren and Stimpy yeah. is <laughs> of the. If we're talking the '90s animation, 
That I include. Ren and Stimpy is the king for me. I include that in a different category. So I include Ren and Stimpy in the adult cartoons. So like Family Guys and Simpsons okay. uh, of the world. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love I, Ren and Stimpy. I watch Ren and Stimpy too. It was a classic yeah. show. So weird. Uh, Beavis and Butthead would be in the same yeah, category. Yeah, Ren, Ren and Stimpy are very much Rich Old Hoffers in my brain. The kind of stuff that makes us laugh. Yeah, yeah. That, that show is weird, man. Oh, yeah. Um, it, <laughs> I'm going to be super interested to see if this works out for you guys. Obviously, as Indians, are you interested in an animated series at all? Obviously, Prabhas has the, the star power. Sure. Too. People are like, oh, if it's his voice, if it's his character, we'll watch it. The terrible. The fearsome. Oh, you're doing Ren and Stimpy. Cracker Stimpy. <laughs> yeah. Let us know uh, if you're excited for this. This is, a, is such a new kind of, kind of concept for Indian cinema. Um, so let us know if you're excited for it, if you're looking forward to it. I'm and excited for your mom. Else we need to know down below. Josh.